Hey, it's Matt Morris again. I'm an ITX advisory solution consultant with ServiceNow. And this video is about tag-based service mapping on Azure. So let's go ahead and jump back to where we were when we left off with Cloud Discovery on our VM named Back to Square One, one of the cloud resources that we created as a CI using Cloud Discovery. We can see lots of details that are being captured here, but what I want to focus in on here is the tag values that are actually being populated. We can see we have a value for a platform, something called Service Later, which must be a lot different than service now. Uh, we have an environment of production and an application of e-commerce. We're going to leverage these tags on this CI and others that were brought in by Cloud Discovery in order to be able to build tag-based map. So let's jump back to our uh, what we have in our tag-based service mapping area. So if you search tag-based, what we want to do is we want to create a new service family. So we're going to call it service later. Go ahead and save it. Now I have a couple of tag categories available out of the box, but I actually am going to need to create a new one right now. So I'm going to drill in here, create new in the tag category, call it platform. So we don't have one yet for platform. I'll save that. And the key is the alias that it goes by. Now you'll remember from our back square one VM, the key is platform. So I'm just gonna add a key here of platform. Save this. Now we can back out of here. We can go back to our service family. Platform. And then I also wanna add a couple of the existing ones that we just saw when we were looking at the list environment. And there's also an application service one. Now, one thing I do need to do, I'll save this before I leave. One thing I do need to do is check and make sure that I have the right keys listed here. So I'm going to open up these two, make sure that we're good to go here. Environment has environment, so we're good there. And then application service, I'm going to need application. Looks like it's already listed there. Double check that, make sure that you have those out of the box. So now that we're good here, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and save one more time and I'm going to manually update the candidates for this just to ensure that we've got the latest information in. And at this point, I can view my service candidates that have been generated for me based on the tag categories that I selected. It looks like I have a couple of them, so I'm going to select those, go ahead and map those. It'll take a moment for them to be mapped and then I'll be presented with success screen. Now what we want to do is we want to scroll down to where they got mapped. We're going to select them. We're going to recalculate them to ensure that they are updated with any CIs that should be in that group. And then what I want to do is I want to drill into, I'm going to drill into my e-commerce service. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is set to operational. We'll save it. Now I can view the map. Might be recalculating the background. So we'll wait a minute while the service map loads. Okay, our service map is loaded. And these are the resources that in Azure that came in via Cloud Discovery. And uh, they had the tags that were necessary to be able to attach them to this. In this case, they had a platform service later, an environment of production, and an application of e-commerce.